Good afternoon, lovely people. Today I'm tying a little fun one that I've been fishing a lot lately in the still waters. Tying on a Dehiko uh, blob hook, size 10. I need some white marabou at the back here. Obviously, nice chartreuse bead. Um, this is a little bait fish pattern, uh, something I've been playing with for a little while actually. And of late, I've been having a lot of success on it, so it's been great. Uh, also, good stocky bashing fly if you do find yourself and a bit of water where you've got a couple of stockies. Uh, very, very nice fly for catching rainbows. Um, but uh, recently I was actually up on a piece of water where I managed to sneak out a couple of brown trout on this exact pattern. And therefore I thought I would tie it up because I've had a few requests. You guys can give it a go and see what you think. So I've been tying it in two different versions, one in a micro version with a very small uh, and short tail. Uh, this is the slightly bigger pulling pattern. Uh, I typically fish this on a sinking line, either DI3 or DI5, depending on the depth of the water. Um, but yeah, really, really, really nice pattern. I've enjoyed it of late, as I said. Uh, just gonna put some wire in here. That's it. So what I've found this has worked quite well is uh, when you've got schooling fish and you're trying to entice them in, something nice and bright up front, like a little blob pattern. Um, and then they tend to turn and take the, the bait fish pattern behind. So worth having a look. Using some of my favorite uh, blue smurf dubbing uh, just to create a bit of body. I'll throw that right in the mix there. I want it too thick because I'm actually going to brush out some dubbing over the top as well uh, to give it some extra mass. As I said, this is a slightly different streamer type pattern. All right, now that that's on there, wrap it in nice and tight, bring it forward. It's looking really good. I don't mind it being a little bit messy, the body. Uh, especially when this dubbing pulls out, the fish tend to love a little bit more. So once you've caught two or three fish on the fly and it starts coming apart just a bit, I find the fish enjoy it even more. So don't worry when you're putting the dubbing on to be overly neat. Just helicopter that off there. Now what I like to do is brush out some additional dubbing. So I'll throw some more on top here. Really create some mass on this fly. Now I'm not going to Thread it on as tight, just want it loosely on there so I can wrap it up and then create a nice messy top. I actually might throw a tiny bit more on. As I said, I want quite a lot of body on this guy. So I'll just throw a little bit more on there, loosely wrapped. Wrap it in, now that's set. At this point again, as you all know, if you watch me a bit, I like to do a little whip finish. Just make sure this fly holds together nicely. And I get my little brush out, start making a bit of a mess here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, you can use a toothbrush for this. Uh, what I've done is I've just taken an ice cream stick, put some Velcro on it. Um, I use that to brush out dubbing when you're creating brush fly patterns. The pos positive about doing it this way is that you obviously get to eat the ice cream first, which is uh, for me a big plus. Just a big ice cream fan. But uh, yeah, I mean, it works really well as well, which is great. Everybody seems to have their own technique when doing this. I like to brush the fly out and just make it as messy as I possibly can all over. Um, and then once I've done that, we just pull it all back. And I tend to find that gives us a really nice look and feel just like that. Perfect. Then what I've gone and done is just put some white uh, trout to CDC. I've already put it in my magic clip. We'll let this unwind a little bit. Um, and with that white uh, CDC, it just gives it a good collar in the water. Um, a lot of movement when you pull the fly. So uh, whether you're pulling it f so slow or quickly in the water, it's moving around a lot, which uh, I've started liking more and more on my still water patterns, uh, especially during winter time when the fish are spawning a little bit and you want to sort of aggravate them a little bit. Just a little bit of body mass is going to help us there. We'll spin that in nice and tight. Just like that. And then wrap it neatly at the top here. 
brilliant so this fly just looking extra messy right now what we'll do is we're going to give it some some love and then i'll take a little bit of the blue dubbing again i wrap this in nice and tight here i want to use it just to pull the cdc back when i wrap it so we're gonna kick it in there and really tighten it in so it holds it back just like that and then we can glue it off and that gives you one of my favorite still water flies at the moment it's a newer pattern in my box it's one i'm fishing a lot if you go out with me you'll see it on the water a bit and there it is a little white pulling pattern something fun something different i definitely like it go tight give it a go cheers mm -hmm.